to take a look at their situation. You mentioned Chris Godwin. He's done now for the season with an ACL tear. The team is expecting to bring back Antonio Brown this week. That's good news. In the running backs room, Leonard Fournette on IR. They're hoping to be able to bring him back for the playoffs. But they did sign in his place former All-Pro Le'Veon Bell to a deal, as I want to bring back in Nink, RC, and Sacho. And I'll start there with you, Rob. As a former teammate of Tom Brady's, how worried are you about this, these injuries seemingly piling up at this point of the season? I'm worried. I'm definitely worried. It's hard to right the ship with a hole in the bottom of the boat. So when you have injuries, especially to your big-time receiver, your number one target, that is a problem. And I think that also you look at Leonard Fournette and, and his ability to catch and run out of the backfield, that is Tom's security blanket. That's, that is his throw when pressure's on and he feels it. I'm just going to throw it down to the back, check down to the back, and he'll scramble, run around for 10, 15 yards. And we've seen that year in and year out for Tom Brady. So when you lose your go-to guys and your key guys in big moments, I think that definitely affects you and your ability to win football games, especially when they matter and you're playing in the playoffs. If you don't have those guys, I'm definitely concerned for Tom. I know they have AB coming back, um, but losing vital pieces is never hard or is never easy to correct, especially when things get harder in the playoffs. Everything is cranked up a little bit more. The intensity is a little bit higher. Everything has to be that much better. And when you lose your key guys, it's harder to win football games. I think most people would say in the NFC, it's a two man race right between the Bucks and the Packers. Acha, do you still consider the Bucks the team to beat in the NFC despite these injuries? I still do, and, and I still think the, the Bucks are the team to beat. I just think it's going to be a little bit harder than it was before. No longer are they a shoe-in to be in the NFC championship game. We all understand the importance of what Chris Godwin brought to this football team. We talk about how Bruce Arians used that position with Larry Fitzgerald. Going back to Hans Ward in Pittsburgh, B.A. was there as well. So it's going to be more difficult, but I've seen Tom Brady do this before. I've seen Tom Brady do this, win games, win championship games, Go to Super Bowls with lesser talent. And so I cannot downplay the effect of losing Chris Godwin, but also Antonio Brown is coming back. Got guys like Rob Gronkowski. Or, uh, you got guys like uh, everybody on their team. All 22 guys are back. Put it that way. Um, and so I still think that the Bucks are the favorite. I'm laughing at RC because he's looking around and he's, well, where's, what is he saying that's wrong, though, dude? Like, no disrespect to Chris Hogan, but he made hey Chris Hogan a Super hey Bowl star, RC. What? Hey. He did. He has always hey made names what? out of the B team, so why can't he do it here? Hey, listen, LeBron took Della Dover to the championship, too. I bet he can't take him now. Hell, he can't get Russ and AD and Dwight and Rondo there now because you know what? At some point, we all need some help, guys. If we didn't age, right, if we didn't need help, then life alert wouldn't be around, right? You couldn't say, I've fallen and I can't get up. You couldn't do that or you wouldn't have to do that if you didn't age and need some help. Tom Brady is not the same guy. The reason we were excited he went to Tampa Bay was because he had the Chris Godwins. He had the Cameron Brates, the OJ Howards, right? He had the Mike Evans on the outside. Then you add Leonard Fournette, Rob Gronkowski, and Antonio Brown. It was about the weapons. We saw what Tom Brady looked like with Jacoby Myers and Nikhil Harry in New England. He didn't even look like Mac Jones. And so those days are over. Tom Brady is a guy that needs everybody else. We were excited because all 22 came back, not just number 12. Um, I just want, for the record, for those that are watching at home, as <laughs> soon as Ryan Clark started besmirching Tom Brady, Rob Ninkovich's dog, right on brand, lost it and was like, it enough. Un shut this segment yeah. down. And that's exactly what we're going to do. What's your dog's name, Nink? <laughs> What's your dog's name? Uh, Brody. Okay, Brody. I'm sorry. It, okay. This is, tis, tis the season right now. <laughs> Things are wild. I have a dog. Uh, the barking. timing. The um, timing. He just, was quiet it, until yeah. RC started going in on Tom Brady, and then he was like, I must be heard, and I love that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.